throws are easy, easy, easy. But really the top of the list for the vast majority of true football fans is gonna be a varsity style jacket. And G3 and Carl Banks, you know, is, is an incredible, not only guy, but great player back in the day. He runs a tight ship and he's very proud of the products that he makes for us. And we're thrilled to always work with him year after year. He does not skimp. He absolutely doesn't. His standards are, he, he always says, I want you to be absolutely thrilled when you open that box. He wants to exceed your expectations. He has said that year after year after year. That's a direct quote from Carl. And he does it all the time. Now, this by far has got to be one of the best prices we have ever offered on a varsity jacket. There's no doubt in my mind. Even as a today's special, I don't think we've done better than $79.99. So if you've ever wanted one, this is it. It looks... It almost smells like real leather. It really does. It has the look. It has beautiful drape, like fine leather. So this isn't that cardboard crunchy stuff, but it's our fan favorite. Why? Because you can spill beer and ketchup and mustard and drippy cheese sauce. You can go out in the snow and the rain, whatever it is, and you are not gonna hurt this jacket. But it looks like you're wearing a genuine leather jacket, but it's fan-friendly fabric. All right, $79.99. Let me do sizes real quick, and then I'm gonna go through the teams, and Rahim, my buddy's gonna be joining me. Now, this is loose fitting. By the way, I'm wearing a medium. I'm about 5'5", five five. I'm wearing the medium. You can see I have plenty of room on this. It goes small to double extra large. Rahim. He is back in the house tonight. Hi, darling. Welcome back. Hey, Suzanne. How you doing? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. You know, I'm ready for this weekend. I, I need to unwind. I need some football. I'm I'm just so ready for it. <laughs> you stress so, this week? Is that what you're so, saying? Oh, my goodness. Look, all this shopping, the shopping, dealing <laughs> in the streets. Let me tell you guys something. This is the beauty of HSN. What I went through this week, Suzanne, I want to go through it no more. Stop. If you are sitting at home. You do not want to have to go out and, and fight with other people trying to find that perfect <laughs> gift. You have the chance, like Suzanne said right now, this jacket, Carl Banks G3, let me tell you, it is the un most unbelievable gift that you will get someone this season. When they pull this faux leather out, if it, look, Suzanne, my dad, to this day, he still feels like this can't be faux leather. He said, because the fact that it doesn't crinkle when you roll the sleeves up, it doesn't make that paper harsh sound. Yep. He said, man, he said, I don't know what you all are doing up there with Carl in New York. He said, but Raheem, he was like, son, you, you with a good company. He said, because you fooled your dad. So I'm telling you guys, my dad, he's been around. He's a veteran. He's 74 years Aww. old. If he loves it, I'm telling you right now, your family member, they will love it as well. You're getting your primary team's colors. You're getting your secondary team color. Look at this. Do you see how the color blocking, how it flows so perfectly on this jacket? And then also, if you turn around, as he's doing right now, you've got that huge, that is an embroidered applique, huge logo on the back. And then, of course, you have the beautiful Colette doing her thing, as always. Colette, we go way back. Colette's been at HSN as long as I have. She's looking at it. You see that, ladies? This is not just for the men. You can also wear this. You have the huge embroidered applique logo on the front. On the sleeve, you have the conference. And then on the other sleeve, you have your team's helmet. Again, all of this is an embroidered applique that is on the jacket. Suzanne, this is the best giftable item of the season if you want to have that wow factor. Oh, it really is. It's the one, you know, Raheem, that when the person opens the box, they get super crazy excited about it. They're like, wait a minute. And they hold it up and like, you got me a real varsity jacket, like the real thing? <laughs> um, and here's the thing, even if you were to go to a stadium right now, and let's say it was a faux leather, you're not going to get all the hits. You're definitely not going to get the quality. And trust me, you all know this if you've gone to a stadium shop, you are not getting sick. $79 for a price. There is certainly not five flex pay either. But I want to go through some details, Raheem. I'm going to stop here on the, uh, the chargers. Only because it is the details that only G3 does in Carl Banks that take this from being an okay jacket to being really a superior jacket. Absolutely. I mean, well, it, Suzanne, you opened it up. Notice how, look at, look at the soft Again, you're looking at a quilted soft lining. So when you run your hands on that, guys, when this touches your skin, it literally flows so smoothly on. There is no push. There is no struggle to put this jacket on or to take it off. Then, of course, look at the pockets. Now, on both sides, you have a pocket. We have what we call a ticket pocket on one side, right? Okay, you see Suzanne, she's on that's our ticket pocket. Then on the other side, you have another enclosed pocket as well. And these are deep pockets, and that is actually a zipper enclosed pocket. So you can zip that up. You don't have to worry about losing those keys or losing your ID. We all know we're at the game 
or we're running around doing shopping. You want to stay warm, but you also need a jacket that is very functional. So not only is this the ultimate jacket with all the hits that Suzanne was telling you guys about, tons of hits, but look at that. Look at the colors, officially licensed NFL merchandise. Notice the pockets. The pockets align on the front with your team's actual primary color right there. Look at that. I mean, that again, Suzanne, you were talking about Carl. Carl, he literally, he literally takes pride in making sure that when this jacket comes out, before it leaves that line, he wants to make sure that it has his stamp of approval because he said, when you get this home, he wants you to be happy. He wants you to feel like, you know what? This is an unbelievable gift that I just received or that I'm purchasing for someone. And I'm telling you, as you pull out those Steelers, that's my dad's team. Here, I'll hold Look, it for I'm your dad. telling you guys, this, this right here, if it fools my dad and makes him feel like to this day, going back to 2007 all the way to 2021, I purchased him two of these jackets, he still cannot believe the quality because both of them, they're still just look just like the first day. And let me tell you, Suzanne, my dad, he's a messy eater. If, if my dad, if my pop is watching this right now, he's probably like, he probably has some some dribble from his hot dog right now <laughs> on his lip. He is the most sloppy eater I've ever grown up as a child, Suzanne. This man would eat like two hot dogs down a half of a two liter bottle without even getting a cup. I'm so saying he is That's a messy hilarious. eater. If his jacket, if his jacket still look like new to this day, that is saying something. So you don't have to worry if you're getting this jacket for a young person or for an older person, it does not matter. Everyone will love this jacket. Okay, Raheem, I got to give you the danger zone. And this is what happens. Uh -oh. We're getting towards the end of the season, obviously. We don't have a lot of more. Sh In fact, this is the last show. I think it's the last show of the entire year. I know it's the last show before Christmas. But here we go. Browns, there's 15, one, five, 15, a little over a dozen left. The Bucks, there's only 15. The Eagles, there's only 15. The Giants, there are 30 of the Giants. If you want the Raiders, there's only 15 left in the Raiders. In Washington, we only have 25 left. And by the way, speaking of Washington, just really quickly, they will decide on a logo. You know what I mean? And so they've now gone into their second season using that basic Washington logo. For me, if you get a jacket with that old logo or a thrower or whatever it might be, it's truly a collectible. Even if you're just like a football collectible fan, getting a Washington in this jacket really, I think, is an excellent collectible idea. Are you a Dallas Cowboys fan? Yeah, I got to admit, they're looking pretty good. Anyway, there you go. <laughs> this is truly the ultimate jacket. Although I gotta tell you, you know, we've talked about this before, Raheem. This season is crazy going into playoffs. I mean, there's so many variables still up for grabs over the next couple of weeks before the season ends. It's it's so much fun, actually. That term where they say it's anybody's game, it literally is anybody's game. Everybody still has a chance, pretty much. So depending on how this plays out, Suzanne, like you said, it's it's gonna be very interesting to see as we roll into the playoffs who that team will be. I still am not putting my, I still don't feel like the Cardinals are going to be the ones, though. I just do not. They're playing great, but I just, I just feel like, you know, history is going to bite them in the butt. They just, I just don't see them pulling it together as, as they roll into the playoffs. I'm still, I'm looking at Los Angeles, Suzanne. Yeah. I know, I know it sounds great. I, I really am. I still, again, with this much time left and, and it, everything's up in the air, obviously, you know, the Eagles and the Giants is, you know, it's pretty much a, foregone conclusion there. <laughs> well, you know what? But. I was actually going through the power rankings because I'm a nerd, and uh, it was interesting. They said the Eagles are still in the hunt for it. I mean, a lot of things got to happen, but still. Oh, but my what goodness. What they're saying is, <laughs> yeah, I'm serious. That gave me a little hope, okay? Just let me believe that, all right? He's like, who wrote that down? So, Pat, Pat uh, obviously, Patriots, the Chiefs, 99% gar they're, they're predicting. Titans are 99, Cowboys, 99%, Cardinals, 99%, Packers, 99%, and the Bucks are 99%. So those are all 99. The next one, Charger, 84%. This is getting a little nerdy on everybody. In the hunt <laughs> includes the Browns and the Bengals. Very interesting there. Yes, the Eagles, okay. Then uh, in the hunt includes the Vikings, the Falcons, and the Saints. So there's my little football power rankings wrap, wrap up for who could potentially end up in the playoffs. But what makes that fun is you just don't know. I mean, there's a couple weeks to go, and everything just be upended. You know what else is fascinating? 
meeting today. I don't know, did you hear about Mayfield? He's out with COVID in the COVID protocol. And the Browns, I mean, they've got to play well coming up this weekend, right? They have to. They have to. They have, they to. have, no, they have no choice. But here's what I think is fascinating is that for really, because last season was such a bust anyway, but this season, you know, that factor and just today the NFL has announced that they're actually going to make some stricter, stricter guidelines um, in, in some regards on this whole COVID thing. But that alone could upset the whole apple cart. Do you know there's like 14 Browns players on COVID restriction, including the coach this week? 14. Wow, Isn't that, that and just nuts? that alone. Look, one look one one little night out, and there we go. The whole the whole <laughs> season could be ruined. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> hey, my my father-in-law Gary, he's not gonna like that. His Browns, he's he's pulling for him, but I, I definitely told him the Browns still need a little bit long. They got a little bit more to go before they um before they can actually make well, some noise. But I think what's so know? interesting is now this whole situation that's just happened you know what I mean it's like crazy this literally was today and they were making all these announcements of who's in who's out and what teams or people are on protocol and it's it's like that is just the whole extra mystery of the NFL you know the NFL is a lot of fun in general just because the uh, parody of the teams it's such a fun uh, sports a fun league to watch but now you throw week in week. the uncertainty of this whole COVID thing and who has to go on restrictions and it's even crazier and they need Mayfield in there I mean they cannot survive with unless he's quarterbacking that game so everybody's on pins and needles because what they said actually was if you get two negative results and you you in a row you can spin back into the game quicker that was the thing they've changed kind of dramatically within this literally like I think the last 24 hours so if you can get a couple negative results you could still potentially play on Sunday if you're uh, good to go so that they're not making them wait like you know 10 days you know to like wait they just have to prove they've gotten two negative results so anyway enough of that but it just adds to the kind of craziness <laughs> of this whole season right it makes it even well, look, more they, amazing as we go towards the end there's of the it. team right there Suzanne Los right Angeles I'm there telling you, you. Go. you're I'm, hoping no I'm, I'm telling no, I, no, I just, I, I'm, I'm going with my gut this year. My oh, gut tells oh, me. I appreciate it. My gut tells me it, it will be the, it, I, I, look, I, at first I have my money on, I have my money on the Rams, but the Chargers, I'm telling you, I just have, I feel like they're going to come through. They, they will come through. And I, I, that's my, that's my, as I said, that's my underdog. Okay, everybody, that's my dog I hope you're right recording there. this moment. Because we'll have to talk about it next season. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Raheem, I know you're going to stick with me. We've got a lot more stuff to talk about. By the way, if you want the Eagles jacket, which I am indeed wearing, there are, what, five left maybe? Five. And size-wise, I think I didn't say it, so I apologize. We have um, small through double extra large. So, And these are men's sizing. By the way, we have the large left in the Eagles. Also, if you need the Browns, you want the Bucks. I'm trying to check the other ones. Browns, Bucks, Eagles, Giants, Raiders, in Washington, all under a dozen left. Yeah. Oh, okay. So he's even saying under 10. So if you need any of those teams, now's the time to get it. And guys, the price is unbelievable. This is a great, you're, I'm telling you what's going to happen. Whoever gets this as a gift or you're buying it for yourself, they're going to open it up and they're going to go, oh my gosh. And I swear to you, they will think you paid a couple hundred dollars for this jacket. And again, use our five flex. If you're new, it's so easy. You spread your payments out over five months, use any major credit card, but you get it before Christmas. We just allow you to pay it off uh, down the road. So good time to take advantage of that. Look how cute this is. I love, love, love this jacket. This is a totally reversible jacket. It's super cool.